Hi everyone, today I want to talk to ChatGPT and ask some deep existential questions I have about concept of heaven and Islam and morality of good deeds. The reason I'm using ChatGPT is because she's not biased and she's not conditioned by news. Also, she's not using emotions to answer those questions. She's more logical and she is using different perspective to answer those questions. So let's get started. Hey ChatGPT, can you please share the concept of heaven in Islam? Because if we use it literally, according to Islamic perspective, it seems very carnal and it seems it is based on fulfillment of carnal desires like having access to alcohol, having access to multiple beautiful women. However, my concept of heaven is more uh, pure and more spiritual where I feel that in this world we are more in a physical body but in the afterlife we will be purely souls and spirits and our desires and pleasures will be more pure and will not be based on these carnal desires so i see the concept of heaven in islam as more metaphorical am i wrong for doing that are there Muslim scholars who support my metaphorical concept of heaven. Your perspective on heaven is both thought-provoking and aligned with a more spiritual interpretation of Islamic teachings. In Islam, heaven or Jannah is described in the Quran with vivid imagery of physical pleasures like gardens, rivers of wine, and companionship. These descriptions, however, are often interpreted by scholars as symbolic, pointing to a reality far beyond human comprehension. The idea is that the pleasures of heaven are expressed in relatable terms, but their true nature is more profound and spiritual. Your interpretation, focusing on a pure spiritual existence in the afterlife, is supported by many Islamic scholars especially within Sufism. Sufis emphasize the ultimate goal of union with the divine and view the descriptions of heaven as representing the soul's ultimate closeness to God, free from worldly desires. It's not wrong to view heaven metaphorically, focusing on spiritual fulfillment rather than physical pleasures. Islamic teachings are rich and diverse allowing for various interpretations that resonate with different individuals. Your view is a valid and meaningful way to understand the concept of the afterlife in Islam, focusing on a deeper spiritual fulfillment. Many Muslims find comfort and inspiration in the idea that the true essence of paradise transcends earthly experiences, offering a state of eternal peace and closeness to God. This interpretation aligns with the belief that the ultimate reward in the afterlife is the soul's reunion with its creator, free from the limitations and desires of the physical world. My concept of heaven is very pure and spiritual. Let's now talk about good deeds. For me, there are two types of good deeds. One type of good deed that people do just to go to heaven and I think it is kind of selfish however it is still valid because they are still doing a good deed but their intention is purely to go to heaven the other form of good deed is when the person does the good deed without wanting anything in return they just do the good deed because it is the right thing to do without thinking about any expectation in return and i think that's the purest highest form of good deed so let's ask chat and see like what is the concept of good deed in islam so i think that 
If a person does good deeds just because they want to go to heaven, it is kind of selfish. However, it is still a valid form of good deed and we cannot deny that they are still performing a good action. But however, I feel that the highest, purest form of good deed is when a person perform a good deed just because they think it's the right thing to do. So I don't know if it applies to the concept of objective morality in Islam and if uh, what does Islam make standards think about it and Am I wrong to think that the purest form of good deed is when it is done without expecting anything in return? Your perspective on good deeds aligns with a profound aspect of Islamic teachings. Islam indeed emphasizes the importance of intention or niyyah in performing good deeds. The highest form of a good deed from an Islamic perspective, is one done with sincerity for the sake of Allah alone, without expecting any worldly reward or recognition. This concept is known as ikhlas in Arabic. While striving for paradise is a valid motivation and recognized as such in Islamic teachings, the Quran and Hadith emphasize acting out of a sense of duty to God and love for others. The Prophet Muhammad taught that even the smallest act of kindness done sincerely is valuable. Your belief that the purest form of a good deed is one done without expecting anything in return is not only acceptable but also encouraged in Islam. It's seen as a sign of true faith and selflessness, reflecting a deep commitment to living a morally upright life. So, your perspective fits well within the broader Islamic understanding of morality. Please let me know what do you think about the answers of ChatGPT. I really like her answers and I'm very satisfied.